This is Sims, and we are back with more Birushana. Just picking up where I cock blocked us all. <laughs> I kind of forgot. It, literally, I played the last part yesterday. I totally forgot. I'm like, okay, we'll go in. We should get her ending. And when I was loading, I'm like, oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is not the end, Tomomori. This is just the beginning. So we read that in the last part. Let's just jump right in. Hopefully, we get her ending this part. I don't know. Right into battle. I mean, come on. Pancake! I gotta get the momentum back. I also have an almond crumb stuck on my tooth. Sorry. Anyway. His resistance was shallow. He avoided my attack at the very last minute. How cheeky. He is... I mean, they're... I'm just the yellow eyes, the glowing evil is... And Tomomori... Look, anything Tomomori does is hot. But I'm just saying. I'm here for it, too. Anyway. But he's in shreds, isn't he? He won't get up again. D damn it! We're Ben K. In addition to the original wound, Ben K's body was covered in blood from the fierce storm of attacks. The wear and tear of the battle was too much, and the impact from slamming into the side of the ship knocked him straight down. Ben K! No! Ben K! No! A fierce mixture of adrenaline and blood rushed to my brain, turning my vision white. The brothers saw their opportunity and they took it. <laughs> oh no, I've been hit. <laughs> the pain was so intense it made my whole body stiffen. Tomomori smiled thinly as I fell to my knees helplessly. Does it hurt? I suppose that can't be helped. And this is your punishment, after all. Look at that smug fucking look on his face. What a bastard. Still, you shouldn't get distracted by a man like that. The one you should be focusing on is me. Look, I'm trying to, but the game's just not letting me, bitch. And me too. Oh, that's right. Don't you look good? Your face is stained with pain and despair. Oh, it gives me such a thrill looking at you like this. Show me more. Yeah, he's way more fucked up than Tomomori, so I mean... Don't you touch me! You still dare point your, point your sword at us. Surely you're past the point of resisting by now, aren't you? If you want to win, you're going to have to surrender yourself to that power, not try to control it. I love the vet. You're like, I mean, you're right, Tomomori. And then I'm going to rip you to shreds. Probably kill a bunch of other people on the way. But hey! Go on. Unleash it all. Consume the souls of mere mortals and let that power swallow you whole. I don't think we need to do that to rage at the fact that you just tried to kill my boyfriend. Just saying. Maybe then you'll be able to fight us on equal footing. It's also not fair that it's two against one. Just... Yeah, yeah. Stop playing human. Just let yourself go. Shut up! No matter what you say, I'm not like you! I am human! I am no monster! Even if my body is like yours, I don't care! My heart is nothing like you two! NK loves me, and I'll never give up this heart for something as fleeting as power! Ah! Ugh. Still have that much will to fight, do you? Your stoutness is endearing, but it's starting to piss me off. Admit you've lost and come with us. You're starting to piss me off. <laughs> oh, goody. Ah, uh, you can be a relentless, brother. That alone would have killed a normal human being. But now she'll be on her best behavior. Isn't that right, Spacey? Oh no, no. I could feel my strength and blood draining from my body. The pain was beyond my limits, and my consciousness is becoming hazy. Tomomori laughed cruelly, looking down at me as a coward, unable to speak. And don't worry, I won't kill you. You're going to be my wife, after all. I'll take real good care of you when this is all over. You could, of course, consume someone's spirit. That would heal you right up and help you rid yourself of that human heart. I could consume one of your spirit. I... 
Are you really trying to get up with those wounds? You really think you can still defy us? My body was heavy as lead. Even so, I reached for my sword and glared at Tomomori, who looked at me curiously. I will never be your wife, you hear me? Never! I'm a human being! I just, I don't like that you tell him we'll never be his wife, because, like, I love the man, but, like, I, I mean, I get it, it's the route, but, like, it's hard. But, uh, Tomomori, sorry, we're just pretending right now. It's, uh, you get that? Okay, cool. Okay, as long as you know. This is like a weird role-playing scenario in the man harem, but it hurts me to even pretend that I don't love him. Just saying. I won't be defeated by the likes of you, cruel people who trample on the hearts of others. I won't give up on my wish. I just don't understand. Why are you so eager to deny your own destiny? It would all be so much easier if you would just let yourself go. Just stop fighting it. Really, most men get really mad when you let yourself go. Uh, what you meant? Oh, I want to let myself go. I just want to wear comfy pants and eat pizza all the time. Just roll wherever I need to go. Brother, just let it go. If you can't get through to her with words, just do this. <laughs> with a face that didn't hide his disgust, Shigahira grabbed my arm, then his hand made its way to my neck. And this will get rid of that rebellious spirit of yours. He's going to siphon your power. Siphon his! But I mean, he's touching us. Why can't we siphon his back? Well, the battle, tug of war. Ah it's consuming my spirit! That alone is terrible, but combined with my wounds, the pain was unbearable. Ah, delicious. Your soul really is something else. Give me more. More. More! This sick, fucked up bastard. Shigehira, that's enough! My body is so heavy. Everything is dark. I really thought it was going to be a little bit less one sided, you know. I mean, you knew there was going to be the point where they almost win or whatever, but I just didn't really think it was. Gonna be quite this, like, one-sided on their part, you know what I mean? If we pretend we died and we fall into the ocean and disappear, I'm gonna be really mad. Because that's exactly what we did in Nordatsune's route. And I'm just like, you can't have it end the exact same way in every single route. We can't take the pretend we drown escape, okay? But I just, you know what I mean? We're at that point right now where you're like, just don't, like, we're both really injured, close to death. It would absolutely work, but, like, could we not use the exact same plot device? Like, I get the plot points are kind of the same. Like, this battle happens, and then this happens, but we don't have to have the exact same ending. I'm just... I think that would absolutely spoil... Like, I just would still love this game, but I would be like, you know, it was a solid fucking game. But that's gonna take points off, because that's just ridiculous. Don't keep you reusing the same shit. So I'm, like, really hoping we're not gonna do that, but I just... I'm really afraid of that right now. <laughs> like... Anyway, Spacey, she's still breathing, isn't she? Can't believe you consumed so much. You're overdoing it, Shigahira. What if you had killed Spacey? Oh my god, are they going to fight amongst themselves? Hmm. Kind of worried, like when Shigahira showed back up and was like all psycho. Yeah, we'll share her. I was waiting for Tomomori to just stab him right then and there. But he didn't do it. They killed their sister instead. So I'm just like... This was, and then I'm like, are you going to kill each other? Because I would, I'm here for that. Huh? Yeah. Shigehira. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening to him? Shigehira, what? Oh, what? Did he consume too much? And now he's like, he looks really sick. You don't look good, bro. I don't feel so good. What's wrong with me? It's so hot. I... Hot. Hot like fire. Ugh. Oh my god, he consumed our spirit. But our spirit is wonderful and wholesome and it's eating him <laughs> from the inside out. Did we just kill him by letting him eat our sp- Oh! Oh, that's scary! Oh, oh no! Stop! 
That is terrifying. I mean, like, you have the purple misty thing around him, which is fine. And, like, one thing is like, okay, you look a little like reptilian, but the but the giant puppet mouth. That is fucking, that is nightmare fuel. He looks like a, oh, no, that is, like, the wrong kind of puppet. Like, I like Muppets and shit, but sometimes, like, ventriloquist puppets and so, those are kind of creepy. And he's on that creepy end of a puppet. Like, you are on the wrong... You are, oh no, this is, this is something straight out of a horror movie. I just want you to see it and be terrified as much as I have to be. Oh my God. Anyway. Ah! Okay. Did you have fun with that? <laughs> anyway. What happened to Shigehira? I stayed on the ground, collapsed, unable to move, and stared in amazement at Shigehira's changing form. All consciousness was gone from his eyes, replaced with a glaring, primal, hungry light. He was a... a real monster. You know, he's a literal monster, because before he was a real monster, but I get you know. You consumed too much spirit. What a pity. A direct descendant of the Heike, swallowed whole by her own power, and turned into such a hideous beast consumed too much spirit and turned into what absolutely is riding inside of us these weird gray demon things it's got scaly looking bits kind of like a dragon i'm just saying he also has sharp pointy teeth <laughs> look at ah ah oh, when he talks it's terrifying stop that's worse oh no Oh, I didn't think it could get worse than his weird mouth, and then, oh no, stop, the more you talk, the worse it gets. Oh, God. Consume. Kill. Kill. Ugh. I feel like he should be snake like now, but anyway. Oh, that was loud. With a monstrous roar, would have been Shigehira leapt from the ship. Fire, use fire. Nobody has fire here. It's like they don't know what fire is. Seriously, do they know what fire is? They had torches, right? I'm just saying, like, lay your arrows on fire and, like, kill that shit with fire. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! You, you monster! Ah! It's kind of fun doing these noises. Also, the less we see Shigeru- Okay, Shigeru, stop it! Don't move your- Oh, God, his mouth! Okay. Oh, I can't keep doing all the screaming. It was more like- I'm like- ah! Hey, neighbors, I swear to God, if they can hear through the walls, they're like, What the fuck is happening? There's- Ah! Ah! Ooh! gonna kill her. <laughs> Starting hissing. But please don't do this. We're Hege. We're on your side. We. Ah! That is fucking terrifying. Wait, what the hell was that? It sounded like some kind of animal. Genji and Heike's ships are sinking one after another. What's the status of the battle? Just what the hell is going on over there? I don't know, sir. We'll have to get closer to find out for sure. Like, can we put this on hold? Yeah, hold. Okay. Pause. Then do it. I want to know what's going on over there. Yes, sir. No, you don't. If the Heike don't know what's going on, then something truly unexpected is happening. What could it be? Shana! Regardless of friend or foe, Shigehiro is flying around and sinking ships one after another. Well, I mean, that's gonna help us win the battle? But also not. Drunk on blood, he was a wild beast who had totally lost control of himself. You made this problem, Tomomori! You gotta go fix it! <laughs> Ugh! 
There, there. Feeling better? I don't mind if you run about sinking ships, but I won't let you lay a finger on Spacey. Got it? Oh, he's gonna go- and then- okay. Is this where you kill your brother? Because that's kind of poetic, I think. That's my wife. If you take any more spirit from her, she will die. And that's something I cannot allow, brother. <laughs> what are you <laughs> and then he's got the sad puppet eyebrows right now. He's got like the little like, what do you mean eyebrows? Well, he's creepy mouth. Oh, it's creepy and kind of funny at the same time. I don't like it. Shiggy here to turned his greedy, glaring eyes toward me. I wondered if he felt anything toward me or if he was totally gone. So this is what happens to those who are addicted to power? How ugly and horrible. Even though I wanted to turn away from him, I could no longer even raise my body. <laughs> now, come, Spacey. Tomomori and Shigehira approached slowly, and I no longer had the strength to swat, to swat away their outstretched hands. I really thought this was going to be the moment where Tomomori has to kill Shigehira, but like, nope, he went, he killed a bunch of people, he came back. Like, there, there could have been something else happening here, but here we are. Anyway, no, no, please, no, Benkei! In my mind, I called out for him desperately. Then, Shungen to the rescue. Oh no, Benke to the rescue. <laughs> I'm like, Benke's basically half dead over here, so like, but okay. Yeah, he mustered it up. Proud of you. you you're alive? With a yell, Benke rushed over to me and picked me up in his arms. <clears throat> Benkei jumped off the boat with me in his arms and onto a small boat adjacent to us. I was like, if he jumps into the fucking ocean, I'm going to be so mad. Into the boat. Okay, good. The... My love, can you hear me? My love, come back! Benkei, are you... Are you alright? I'm fine. I fainted for a moment, but I will not leave you to die. Die together! Just not in the waves, okay? We did that with Noritsune, I'm just saying. Don't, game. I'm sorry. I failed to protect you and... It's not your fault, then, Kate. Don't worry. Uh, uh Wait, hold on. I'm gonna try to bandage you. It's too late for that, Ben Kay. I'm... No. No, my love. Don't say that. Don't... Don't die on him. Ben Kay took me in his arms and sobbed. As I listened to his tear-stained voice, I felt relieved. Thank goodness you're alive, Benkei. He was covered in blood and cuts, but he was still alive. And I could stay in his arms for a few moments before I left this earth. Oh, shut up, girl! You ain't gonna die! Being dramatic. I only got stabbed a couple times. <laughs> I felt so relieved by this, I nearly began to cry. No, no, no! You can't die here! Take some of my spirit. Heal your wounds. Just like the last time. No, take more than last time. Take as much as you need until you're healthy again. Yeah, but then you'll die. NK, I can't do that. These wounds are too deep. If I did that, then you would die. I can't do that. I love you too much for that. So I want you to live, NK. There's no point in sacrificing your life for me to live alone. No, my love. No matter what happens, I will not perish. I promise. It's the only way for us to win. For us to win this war and live our life together. Please, take my spirit. He looks like so sure of himself right now. The look in his eyes is like, no, I know I'm going to be fine. You won't be fine. You lied to me. Benkei spoke calmly with a smile on his cheek, which was bloodied from his wound. I mean, he's not going to die. It's the happy ending, for fuck's sake. You can't kill him, so, you know. No, there's no way. You're too weak. No matter how sturdy he was, I knew there was no way he could survive being injured like that and having his spirit consumed. He always lies to me to try to make me feel better, which is kind of nice. He always forces himself to smile to protect me. His constant determination and kindness breaks my heart. You're... You're an absolute wreck, you know? You're always putting yourself on the line for me. You don't have to do this. Seeing you get hurt, 
That's what hurts me the most, Benkei. Benkei's fingers gently wipe away the tears from my eyes. His kindness makes me cry even more. You're crying for me? Your heart is too kind, but that's what made me fall in love with you after all. I don't want to lose you either, Spacey. Oh. So please... Forcing me to take his spirit, Benkei pressed his lips to mine. He took my breath away. This is our kiss! Then I felt Benkei's spirit coming through the place where our lips touched. As his spirit flowed through me, I could feel my exhausted body unconsciously drawing more and more from him. Mm -mm. Oh, this is almost too much. Now he looks pained. Oh no. I tried to shake him off, but I couldn't. Wrapped tightly in his warm embrace, I couldn't resist anymore. His spirit was warm and sweet. I felt a sense of exuberance running through me. Uh, uh. He's so warm. Oh no, Benke! I anxiously clutched at his chest, but his large palm held me firmly in place. Everywhere we touched, it was as if the boundary between us had disappeared, and we were melting into one. Really sweet and romantic, but obviously inappropriate for the scenario. Not what's happening, but like, you know, later, that's also what's going to happen. Hmm. Fueled by the spirit that was flowing between us, I could feel the fire of life begin to burn within me once again. After what seemed like an eternity, a feverish exhale escaped my lips. Benke pulled his lips away from mine. <laughs> uh -huh. My love, are you feeling better? Well, he's not dead, so that's good. Yeah, I feel fine. Thanks to Benke, my wounds had closed up to, to some extent, though not to the point of full recovery. The pain was still running through me, but I could manage to pull myself up. And this is why, Benke, I'm sorry, but we have to have a talk. Benke, we're going to have to have a man harem, because you can't always be the one that heals my wounds because you're really injured. But some of the other boys, they're fine. I could take a little bit of spirit from everybody, be healed up, kick some fucking ass, and none of you would get really injured. I'm just saying, this right here is the exact reason we need a man harem. Right? You know? We wouldn't always have to rely on Benke to feed us. We just get a little food from everybody else. Right? Right? No, figuratively and literally. I'm just saying. <laughs> <sighs> All right, anyway. Thank you, Benkei. How are you feeling? No need to worry. I'm a bit dizzy, but I'll be fine. Good. You gave so much of your spirit to me. What on earth were you thinking? And yet, the way he did it, the sensation of being kissed on the lips like that, was so vivid. Not something I'll soon forget. Oh, now we're blushing. How cute. Even though we had much more important things to worry about, I couldn't help but blush. I'm sorry. I didn't know what else to do. Our first kiss. Oh. But I am glad that you've recovered, my love. I'd always gladly trade my life for yours. Smacks him. Stop that shit! It's a nice sentiment, but don't ever do that again. Right, but I thought I told you not to do that. I appreciate you saving my life, but... I don't want to sacrifice your life so I'm the only one left. I want to live with you, Benke. Alright, I promise. And that will be the last time I give you my spirit like that. Unless she has. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He's going to give you his spirit. It's kind of differently. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't think we were going to get through a whole part without some, like, really inappropriate innuendos and shit, did you? Yeah. Benke gazed at me lovingly, then turned his eyes back to Tomomori and the others. Now it's time to go kill my hot brothers! I mean, the hot brothers. They're not my brother. They might be my brothers, I don't know. But anyway, they're hot, so. For that reason, we have to end this battle here. For the two of us. For our future. Yeah, true. That's right, Benke. Let's win and end this war. We took up our weapons and returned to the battlefield. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get our ending in this part either, because I'm just saying, like, we kicked, we did some asking, and then we're doing that, and now we're going back, and it's going to be, and it's like, damn, they're dragging this battle out. I'm not complaining. This game is good. I love it. But I'm just saying, like, we're, I'm just saying, I got, like, I, I have spent way too long recording this route, to be dead honest. 
And I'm like gonna fall really fucking far behind in our other game. And I'm like, I need to wrap this up. So I was like, if I get like two more parts, cool. But I'm like, if it's gonna be more, I fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, that's my own fault. But anyway. Well, you're looking better, Spacey. I see no matter how much you fought it, you still consumed his spirit, didn't you? Yeah, you're just jealous it wasn't yours. Okay. But it can't be helped. And that's what you are. You're just like us. Now, let's see what you can do. I love the fact that he just grabs. That's it now. He has no real words. He's literally a monster. I hate to burst your bubble, but it wasn't her that did that. It was me. I gave her my spirit of my own free will. I'll give my spirit to her later when we're done here. Kidding. And I am st- Oh, and I'm standing here now only because she took what she needed to survive. She's human to a fault. Not like you and Shigehira. Can't you see? She'll never join you. I can't do Benkei's voice right now. It's not, it's not right anymore. I don't know. Tomomori's like, ah! Rude. Tomomori, you're right. Maybe I'm not human. Maybe I am like you. But I will not be defeated by you. Benkei and I will join forces to defeat you. If you want to laugh at what we have... Go ahead and laugh. I won't break our bond. Then you'll shut your fucking mouth and I'll never be your wife! Please just keep saying those things. No, don't say they'll never be your wife, but tell them to shut your fucking mouth. Spacey. Spacey. <laughs> Sister. Spacey. <laughs> He's so creepy. <sighs> Very well. Then perhaps I'll have to find another way to tear you two apart. He should have said that more, but I didn't quite have the gusto as I was reading that. I have to tear you two apart. I can't. Anyway. <laughs> Nothing has changed, you know. We're still going to kill that dog of yours, wound you, and take you back with us. The fact that, okay, before you and Shigehiro being monsters, whatever, figurative, you know, but like now Shigehiro is absolutely like half serpent man, and I'm not 100% sure I'm down with that, okay? Like, look, I got lines, game. And you drew the line at, like, by the way, one of these guys maybe is your brother. Maybe I'll... And you're like, you know, hey, you're going to bone your brother. And then, like, oh, maybe Tomomori's your brother. You're never going to fucking know. But at some point in this game, I'm going to fuck my half-brother, probably. Whichever one it is. Okay? And that's disturbing. But you're probably not going to tell me. But I'm always going to have that thought in the back of my mind. But now you're giving me, like, a weird snake man? Not sure I'm there yet. I mean, I know we played games with, like, Ayakashi and stuff like that, but they weren't, like, look, here's me in my weird Shigehira puppet-headed snake form. Like, that, okay, I, there's a line, and that's crossing it right now. I don't know how I feel about this, so I'm going to go with no right now. I'm going to take a hard pass on this. <laughs> anyway. I won't let you! Man, Benkei's lost his spirit. He's been beaten the fuck out. They thought he was dead, and yet he's still fighting. So I'm proud of him, man. <sighs> Tell me more. <sighs> yeah! I just want to make weird fucking noises for Shigehiro now, because he's kind of an actual fucking monster, so. <laughs> All sorts of weird shrieks and squeals. <laughs> Nothing. It's going to be, like, so unhuman. Oh, God. Not bad, not bad. You two make a good team, but I wonder how long that will last. Not easy to move when both of them are attacking at once. Benkei! I guessed he was thinking the same thing. Our eyes met, and he nodded back emphatically. Got it! See! Oh, okay. I was like, I clicked, but I forgot the talking thing. <laughs> I'm just having too much fun with Shigehira now. Benkei's attack caused Shigehira to veer off course, breaking his and Tomomori's joint attack. You sure your vassal will be okay fighting Shigehira alone? No mere human could defeat Shigehira as he is now. Don't underestimate Benkei's strength. He'd never lose to a creep like your brother. Besides, shouldn't you be focused on fighting me? <laughs> I suppose you're right. How disrespectful of me. In that case, 
Let's enjoy our private time together. You can taste my sword to your heart's content. Wow, that was that was full of innuendo, and I didn't even have to be the one to make gross jokes. You did it all on your own. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. Dirty, dirty motherfucker. I cannot. It was the let's enjoy our private time in my head. I was like, oh, I can't wait to hear June Fukuyama say that shit to me. And then it was the tasting my sword. And it was like, oh, Jesus. Game. How dare you? Ugh. AC, I need you to kick in. It's hot out here. Ugh. He's strong. Faster and stronger than he looks. But we can't afford to lose now. I'll unleash my power and attack him with all I've got. Kill him with your sword. <laughs> That's literally, actually. You're getting better each time we fight, you know. It seems that the more danger we're in, the more pushed we are to the brink of life, the sharper and more polished we become. He's going to enjoy it when you stab him. I'm just saying. He's, he's that fucked up. And that's why it's not even close. Your power has not yet reached beyond that of mere mortals. If only you would cast aside humanity, your soul would shine as brightly as the sun. I mean, now you're losing your fucking cool... Man, you're sounding crazy. You should have drained that man of all his life. Then, perhaps you would have had the power to surpass even me. I'll surpass you. Kiss you first, and then... I'm just... Then you won't see, it's fine. I'll do no such thing! I will defeat you as a human, with my heart intact! Ah! Ah! And this is not enough to defeat. Oh, yeah, this is not enough to defeat me. And now, Spacey, do it. Release your power. Strike me down. Yeah, he's really gunning for this. I mean, all right. Your wish is my command, motherfucker. Anyway. Ah! Really wanted to scream. And it's fun sometimes. It hurts my throat, but it's fun. On the other side of the boat, Benke and Shigehiro were engaged in a fierce battle to the death. Yeah, we're not going to kill them to the end. We're not getting our end in this part. Like, holy shit, motherfuckers. We're just going to go along. Die! 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 <laughs> they have fun with them. <laughs> you really think you're going to hit me with an attack like that? I guess we should have gone long in the last part. <laughs> there! Seems his power has increased, but he's lost all knowledge of how to fight. He's just attacking wildly. There's so many gaps. In that case, I'll just keep hitting him each time there's an opening. Maybe you shouldn't tell us your plan out loud, but... I think Shigehiro's gonna die pretty fast right now. Because he actually stay dead. Yeah! Huh! See! Really hope he dies. Like, it stays dead this time. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, look. Huh. He's finally on his knees, but it looks like he's still got some fight left. Take off the head. Take off his head. Ah! <laughs> Just so funny. His creepy puppet face when he moves his mouth. Still fighting, huh? Yeah! Still attacking like a wounded beast. Yeah, you gotta behead him. Come on, take his head up. This isn't gonna get us anywhere. To stop him for sure, we'll need to... I think I looked around to see a number of Genji ships approaching. Shana, Benkei, wait! I'm coming to join you. Hey, hot brother. Might not be my brother, but we'll just pretend. To multiple routes where we do our brother. Eh, whatever. Genji ships! Uh, good, in that case! Holding Shigehira down, Benkei shouted to the approaching Genji fleet. Everyone, shoot the ship with your arrows! What are you talking about? We can't do that! You two are too close. You'll be struck, too. I know, but now's not the time for that! It's the only way to defeat him! 
Uh, unless you got four people to all stab him at once. Yeah, but... Uh, please hurry! I can't hold him much longer! I, I don't see another way, but... But... And ready your arrows. Yeah, leave it to our brother to not give any fuck. They're like, but we can't. And he's like, do it. And everyone else looks at him like, bro, what the fuck? Lord Yoritomo. Fire. Hot when he's angry. <laughs> uh, despite being engaged in a fierce battle with Tomomori, Benke's painful cry reached me on the other side of the ship. What? In a panic, I looked to see Benke holding Shigehiro down, along with the approaching Genji army. Then I watched with horror as arrows rained down on them from the Genji ships. This is it! Benke held tightly onto Shigehira, and together they continued to be showered with arrows. Then, the firing ceased. <laughs> Shigehira, who had been hit by countless arrows, slumped lifeless to the floor. And Benke. Uh, uh, I have to sneeze. Then I went to sneeze and it went away. God damn it! Benke, are you all right? Yes, don't worry. I've been hit in a few places, but nothing too serious. I use Chigahira as a shield. As you should. Chigahira's body seemed to have shielded Benke well, and he didn't seem to have any serious wounds. I was joking about the shielding him with Chigahira, which is what he should have done, but he actually did, so... Funny, but also, like, good job, I guess. His face twisted in pain from the arrows in his legs and arms, but still, I was overwhelmed with relief. Um, I'm just saying, this doesn't look good. I- So glad you're alright, I- My lord, behind you! Sword right between- right behind my arm. Girl, you gotta have a dagger, so just stab him right in the chest. T Tomomori! That's right, it's not over yet! Oh, we're gonna have to kill our beautiful, beautiful bastard boyfriend. <gasps> He's not a bastard bespectacled boyfriend. He's a beautiful bastard boyfriend. They're always the three Bs, aren't they? Sometimes they're the beautiful bespectacled bastard boyfriend. And then they're the four Bs. Not a plus. I think you berated me for getting distracted before, didn't you? Now who's being rude? Sh Shigeru is your brother! Don't you care that he's gone? Huh. Yes, a shame that Shigeru is dead. But with that new form of his... Better to have him dead than continue to live with the shame of having a hideous beast like that for a brother. I can't do his voice on my breath. Like, wow. You... How, how can you not even mourn the death of your own flesh and blood? Your own brother! You... You really are a monster! He's like a monster who wants to have sex with what he thinks is his half-sister. I'm just saying! I don't know where you're just surprised about this. I mean, I guess you're like, you keep shocking me with how much of a douche you are, but I still love him to death. You just noticed. Isn't that what we've been fighting about this whole time? Ah! NK! There's nothing more to say to him! Let's just take him down with all we've got! Yeah. Come on, my love! I mean, I hate to say this, but it's about time, because we need to wrap this fucking part up, Jesus. You gotta have a happy ending! My happy ending is staring at Tomomori, but they can't be that kind of happy ending for Benke, I'm just saying. The way he kept his focus on the future, it inspired me to fight again and again. Right, let's do this! Oh, touching, really. But don't think that'll make me go easy on you. 
and the stage is set, and all the players are here. It seems it's time that we fulfill that promise we made to each other at Ichinotani. Either I will be destroyed, or you will be mine. Let the final battle begin! Weren't we already doing the final battle? Someone just stab him and end it real fast. Don't do it, though. Shigehira is dead! We're surrounded by Genji ships! Do you really think you can win, Tomomori? He's gonna go down trying. Of course. If I wanted to, I could kill everyone here without a second thought. And the Heike, too, I no longer need. I shall tear them all up, drag them to the bottom of the sea, and take Spacey away with me. But before that, I will kill that eyesore, Benkei Musashibo. Because otherwise, it seems that Spacey will never let her human heart go. I mean, killing Benkei would absolutely probably destroy me, so I'm just saying. Well, her version of me, me version of me, would be happy to go with Tomomori, I'm just saying. I won't let you! No matter what you plan to do, you will never change my heart. I will defeat you here, Tomomori! This is a great foreplay, I'm just saying. That's right! For the people of this land and for a bright future together with my love, we will defeat you here! This is the last time we'll ever do battle! Prepare yourself, Tomomori! Ah! Ouch. That hurt. I hope it- I'm sorry if it hurt your ears, but it hurt my throat, so... See? Gloriously beautiful face, God. And that's it? And that's all you've got? I'm afraid you'll have to do better if you want to beat me. Uh, uh. What's the matter? Tired already? Come on. You can do better than that. How about this? Lord Yuri Tomo, aren't you gonna help Lord Spacey? Let Spacey finish this. If we inter interfere, we'll put our forces in jeopardy. But, but... As strong as Tomomori is, the strength of space is also quite strange. My lord, could it be... No, oh, oh, this is what that one was talking about. What should we do? No, it's nothing. That man is Genji. If he can fight as Genji, and be of use to me... So be it. We can't just let the two of them fight him alone. There has to be something we can do. Tomomori is moving too fast for our archers to catch him. Besides, if we jump in now, we'll just get in the way. That's a monstrous strength. How much longer can they hold him off? Damn. But we caught a glimpse of our lord fighting like this at Fuji River. That power really is something. Just where in the world does he get that kind of strength from? Shinao is Shinao. Kind, strong, one of us. That's all that matters. Good boy, Shungen. I appreciate you. Damn straight! That's a species we know and love! I know, I love you guys too! All wonderful little gems. Benkei's not a man to be defeated either. Together, they'll surely defeat that man. We kind of have to. Hear that? We're all on your side. You can do this. We keep fighting like this. He'll just wear us down. We need to find a way out of this. Hi, Tiny Bird! Benkei, beside me, nodded at my gaze. <laughs> so this is all you've got, Tomomori? A big mouth and not much else? What? You said you were going to kill me, right? Just as well, I never much liked you anyway. I'll dispatch those who dare try to take my love from me with these bare hands. Come, Tomomori. I will defeat you here and now. And I will show you what true love and devotion looks like. And foolish words from a foolish man. You just don't want a loser, and that's all this is. Nothing high or noble about that. What exactly is the difference between your obsession with her and mine? Humans really are such stupid, greedy creatures. 
it's, takes one to know one. Stupid and greedy. And yet, you cloak your naked desires in words like honor and loyalty, as if that somehow makes it better. Pathetic. I loathe you. Everything about you is unpleasant to me. I've reached my limits. I can bear the sight of you no more. So dramatic. But first, I'll cut off your head so that you can't spout any more nonsense. Then I'll cut you to pieces and scatter you to the sea. Um, spill your blood and die here. As he's staring at Benkei saying all this shit and monologuing like a goddamn villain, we just stab him in the back and you're like, I mean, you should have stopped monologuing. That'd be fucking hilarious. I would die. Uh! Hmm. Okay, okay. It seemed Benkei's provocation had an effect. Tomomori abandoned his amused demeanor and pursued Benkei recklessly. His strength and intensity was greater than anything I'd ever seen before. <laughs> Sticking to the defensive, are you? What happened to that big mouth of yours, hmm? Fool. As they fought fiercely in the narrow confines of the ship, Benkei continued to be pushed further and further back. You'll never kill me by running away. Anyway, let's finish this, shall we? <laughs> at last, Benkei's back reached the edge of the boat. Tomomori smiled wickedly at him. Benkei was trapped. Die. Benkei! My love! Tomomori attacked with superhuman strength, and Benkei dodged it by a paper-thin margin, with the blade slicing deep into the space behind him. Tomomori's sword came crashing down onto the boat, sending a number of pieces of wood into Tomomori's face. <clears throat> a startled Tomomori stepped back to avoid the shards of wood. It was the moment I had been waiting for. Like an arrow, I leapt from my place and swung my sword with all my might. All his monologuing and his dramatics get the best of him. Yeah! I think we just killed our boyfriend. Killed him morning. <laughs> Tomomori fell to his knees, blood spurting from his wound. He muttered contemptuously. Don't tell me all oh, that. It was just to create an opening, wasn't it? I believe we killed him. I mean, at least I killed him, but also this hurts me so much. Indeed, it was Benkei's idea to provoke you in the first place. As much as it pains me to say, I knew that I alone could not defeat you. I also knew that she too could not do it alone, so... Aww, we're teammates. We decided to do it together, just as I told you from the start. <laughs> I see. Well, you got me. He's gonna die happy, though, because we killed him. So, I mean, I guess that's a plus. Hmm. And that was my mistake. I shouldn't have gotten so worked up. So unlike me. So dramatic, even at the end. I guess I was too harsh on Shigehiro, wasn't I? I made the same mistake as him. The wound I inflicted was nearly fatal. He was coughing up copious amounts of blood, and yet... He laughed. Well, yeah, because he's bored with life, so, I mean, this is fine for him. Still, kind of you not to finish me off quickly. I suppose you really don't understand the nature of this power. I'm gonna try to heal. What? Did you learn nothing earlier? In consuming the spirit of another, especially one with blood like yours, can heal all wounds. Oh, dear God, we have to fight him again. Could we just- can you just- like, don't die, but, like, also, could you just die? Because, like, it's we've been fighting you for, like, two hours. This is intense, man. I'm just saying, man. Tomomori, this isn't your route. I'm gonna need you to take a back seat. Tomomori, who had been cowering, suddenly pulled himself up and started dashing towards us. Benkei's gonna stab him. My love! Tomomori's hand stretched out, trying to grab a hold of me, when suddenly... Shigehira. <laughs> this motherfucker's not dead! No, seriously? Stop!
stop it. I'm gonna cry from laughing because that is just seriously. Will you stay dead? What the fuck? <laughs> He's like a horror movie villain. Like he just like you're like, yep, we killed him. No, we're in part two. There's gonna be a part three and a four and a five and a twelve. Like he's never dead. Oh dear God. What? She here to you're alive. Here, fuck her. Yeah! Arrows had pierced his entire body, yet he stood. He let out a terrible shriek and rushed towards us. There was no longer any hint of the person he once was. He was just a monster, eyes brimming with insatiable greed. What a terrible sight. Shigehiro, what have you become? Oh, Shigehiro's gonna take Tomomori out, huh? Ain! Ain! Spirit! Spirit! Consume. <laughs> have to have fun words. <laughs> Look, we gotta have fun with him being all demonic like this. If he consumes someone else's spirit, will he recover like Tomomori? At that moment, Shikihiro's cloudy eyes caught sight of me. I can't believe this is not over. I cannot believe. <laughs> I just cannot fucking believe this. Ah! My love. Just as I was about to be sliced by Shikihiro's claws. Benkei pulled me in his arms and jumped back. Ah! Having lost his prey, Shikihira howled in frustration and turned to the one whose spirit was just like mine. Oh no. Towards his brother, Tomomori. I really thought Tomomori was going to kill Shikihira, but I did not see this coming. Spirit, consume. Shikihira. The dying Shigehira sunk his teeth deep into Tomomori's neck, consuming his spirit at a frantic pace. His body battered and bloodied, Tomomori screamed as his brother consumed what remained of his mortal soul. Alright, I feel better that we didn't kill him, so that's okay. I still feel bad he's dead, though. Well, maybe. Who knows? This game can't keep anybody dead. Speechless, all I could do was stare blankly at the horrible scene. Yet, despite consuming Tomomori's spirit, Shigehira showed no signs of recovering from his wounds. There's no saving them now. Too far gone. Both of them are... <laughs> Shigehira... Be what you turned into... You were once so beautiful. I'm just saying. <laughs> so it is our fate to wither, fall, and rot. He really is fucking dramatic. Even literally dying. Wow. I love it. Nothing left but to accept it then. Filled with great pain and a recognition of the end, Tomomori's eyes slowly lost their life. I cannot believe we killed my boyfriend! <laughs> oh, it kind of hurts. I'm sorry. I should have ended things when you were still human. Bro bro brother. Aww. It's kind of They make it sad. You're supposed to be like, well, no, I'm glad they're not, but you're not. You're like, aww. And, but then this, you're like, oh, it's actually kind of sad. <laughs> They're psychopaths. Uh, let us go together, Shigehira. <laughs> That's actually touching. Stop it, game. Stop it. Tomomori put his limp, limp arms around the back of the beast who had been his brother and hugged him. Then, they're going to throw themselves into the sea, aren't they? They're not dead. I, I for fucking do not believe for a second. The brothers threw themselves into the sea. Holding each other tightly, the two of them sank to the bottom of the sea, where countless others where countless others from this war now lay. Yeah, bullshit. We know what happens when you jump into the sea and you swim away like fucking Noritsune and I did. So bullshit, I don't think they're dead, because Shigehiro was murdered twice and still came back from the dead twice. So, like, don't think I don't think he's going to come back a third time. I'm just saying I'm calling fucking shenanigans, so. Tomomori, Shigehira. It's over, my love. Huh. It really is, isn't it? The 
two wicked brothers that had pursued me for so long had finally breathed their last breath. Enki held me in his arms for a long time. I don't think it was going to take this long to kill them, but damn. The Enki generals have been defeated! The victory of the Genji is at hand! Noritsune is like, excuse me? Go! Attack at once! The Enki are as good as dead! But we have to see that, so. The Enki have lost? This really is the end. I won't let them take me alive! Uncle Chu, I'm not gonna let the Gagey take my head as a trophy! Joke's on you, I can swim! Come down and get your body and take it. Tomomori's dead. Looks like the Heike's luck has finally run out. It's useless to fight any longer. The generals are jumping into the sea one after another. Guess this really is the end. Then let us depart gracefully. Prepare to say goodbye to this world, all of you. Ensure the sacred treasures are sunk. Give nothing to the Genji. Um, again, joke's on you. We can swim. Wait, we've come to retrieve the divine weapons. There's no need for you to cast them or yourselves into the sea. He's right. I'm sorry, but we can't let you die here. Our side's working to pull those who have jumped into the water back to the surface. Give up and surrender. I'm not going to take your fucking heads. Jesus Christ, we're not barbaric like you. What we'll gave you that stupid idea? Well, we would have taken your heads. Yeah, well, we're not fucking douches. You won't even allow me to end my life as a samurai. Very well. Such is my fate. So be it. I mean, you know. Guess the war's over. Guess that means the Heike are over too. Well, that's the case. Guess my time has come too. Oh no, Noritsune, please don't! Wait, Noritsune... What? Oh, it's you. Come to see me off? War's over. What's the point of throwing away your life here? Don't do it. Don't jump. I wanted to actually kill you, but now I'm like, I feel bad about it. You surrender. You will live. Live? For what? To be your prisoner? <laughs> I don't think so. No true samurai would allow himself to be captured by the enemy. No. I lived as a samurai and I'll die as a samurai. Noritsune. You're a good fighter. Though, maybe not as good as Spacey. Either way, I enjoyed fighting you. Now, don't do it! No! Stop! The samurai are all fools. They are! Oh! Okay, like, look. I was like, okay, fine. Like, Tomomori and Shikihara were assholes. I love Tomomori, but I'm sorry. That actually kind of stung. I'm not crying, but like, damn, the I, the, I can feel the tears welling up in the back of my eyes at that. Like, Noritsune, don't do it! <sighs> Look, I love Tomomori, but he's a raging asshole. So like, when we kill him, you're like, I hate this, but also I get it. But like, Noritsune is just a precious little thing. Like, why would you do, stop, no, oh. <sighs> I think killing Tomomori would hurt more after you do his route, you know what I mean? Because, like, it's justifiable. He's a complete and utter fucking psychopathic asshole. So you're like, I get it. I don't want to like you. Like, I mean, sure. But, like, Noritsune, like, no, stop it. Stop it. He's a precious little cupcake. Why would you do that? Oh, Poor Noritsune. That makes me so sad. <laughs> Thus, the Battle of Donora ended in a victory for the Genji, with many dead on both sides. Having successfully retrieved the divine weapons, Yoritomo returned to the capital, where the captured Heike awaited judgment. The war, later known as the Genpei War, was finally over. The era of the Heike ended as abruptly as a dream, and with their fall came the dawn of a new era, led by the Genji. The end. But not really. We have to do the after part. Which, I mean, if this is the credity scene... Yeah. No, you can't listen to that. So here we go. Two months later... So, hey, we managed. I don't know if this is going to be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, whatever. Hmm. Looks like that wound is healing up nicely. We should be able to take the bandages off soon. Uh, thank you very much. I owe it all to the devoted nursing of my princess. What are you talking about? This is the least I could do. You must be hungry. I brought you some lunch. 
Today's porridge is mixed with wild vegetables, just like you like. This looks delicious. <laughs> really? Well, I made it just for you. Now eat up and you'll be feeling better in no time. Well, in that case, I'll have to enjoy every bite. You better. Hmm, this is fantastic. My princess really is too kind to me. I'm glad to hear that. Well, eat up. Thank you. I felt relieved as I watched Benkei eat his porridge, a giant childlike grin on his face. I'm so glad Benkei's back on his feet. Even though they weren't fatal, the arrow wounds he had received were not shallow either. On top of that, he was so weak from sharing his spirit with me that at one point he was barely able to eat. When I returned to Kurama with Benkei, Lord Kakunichi welcomed us warmly. With tears in his eyes, he said, You've done well. It was then that I realized my fighting days were finally over. And after the war, I left my brother's army. He didn't even raise an eyebrow. He just said, I see, and that was that. I guess he has his own goals now, and he doesn't need me to help him anymore. I used to be sad the two of us weren't closer, but I've finally come to accept things as they are. I don't really want to accept things as they are. Our brother is mean to us and doesn't love us. And three of our boyfriends killed themselves. Two of our actual boyfriends, and then one that's like a side piece. But like, still... I mean, I know he ended up walking away with more of our man harem than drown at sea, but like, not really. Kind of. We have Benkei, we have Shungen, we have Tadanobu and Suganobu. Because we don't get our brother, because like, he's being a dick, so like, I mean, we got half our man harem over here. It's kind of rude. That's what I'm saying. Because now I have a new dream to pursue, and I have the most important person in the world to me by my side. After the war, Tadanobu and Suganobu left Yoritomo's army and returned home to Hiraizumi. They wanted to ensure Hiraizumi wouldn't be swallowed up by new order, and acted as a bridge between Hiraizumi and the Genji. <laughs> Dear Spacey, fighting alongside you is something, uh, oh, something I'll always be proud of. Now that, oh, now that far away in Hiraizumi, you're always on our minds. In my mind, I can still see their bright and dependable smiles from when we parted. Shungen stayed with Yoritomo. He said he would live by my brother's side and work to ensure the durability of the Genji regime. It was sad to say goodbye to him, but once Shungen got his mind fixated on something, it was impossible to talk him out of it. Plus, he's like fucking been in love with you for goddamn forever because he's the best friend route. He's probably always been in love with you. And you're in love with Benkei, so it's easier for him to go away. But at least they all know we're safe, as opposed to in Noritsune's route, where they're like, She's dead! <laughs> they think I'm dead. Now that the war's over, the once chaotic city of Kyoto's finally coming back to life. Jesus Christ. God damn. Go away, spam callers! Slowly but surely, the world was moving toward a beautiful new era. After you finished eating, you should rest a bit more. I'll come back later with some medicine to help speed up your recovery. I don't think... Oh, don't you think you're overdoing this a bit? I'm pretty sturdy after all. Is all of this really necessary? No, it's necessary. The war is over. There's no need for you to push yourself. Y yes, ma'am. I just don't want to bother you, that's all. Who's bothered? I like taking care of you, Benkei. Of course I want you to get better- Oh, that's me. Of course I want you to get better soon, but I enjoy taking care of you like this, too. Which is why I'm gonna break your legs, like in misery, so then you can never get a- You have to stay with me forever. <laughs> you do? Yes, of course. You're always taking care of me. This is the least I can do. Benke stared at me, his eyes dazzling. Benke? Knowing how much you worried about me, and now you taking care of me like this, I feel like the happiest man in the world. Probably are. As your hands tend to my wounds, as your kind eyes, kind gaze, your oh my god, as your kind eyes gaze upon me, I can't read, we know this, I can feel how much you care. It's all so much I can't help but find myself embarrassed by it all. Indeed, you will be a good wife after all. A good wife? What are you talking about all of a sudden? It's not sudden. I've always thought so. S stop teasing me, Benkei. I mean, obviously I'll make a great wife, but from now on I want us to support each other. No one person carrying all the weight. 
<laughs> like she's like, obviously I'll make a good wife, but like stop. <laughs> she'll see us. From now on, we're gonna live together. Forever. What am I saying? This is all Benke's fault. He's the one that said I'd make a good wife, and you should be like, well, you'll make a good husband. He's like, wait, what? And father. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. It was a joke. Just forget I said anything. Anyway, you need some more rest. You're not at full strength. Go to bed. Got to bed. It said got to bed. Okay. Good job, Tim. My cheeks were burning with hot embarrassment. I hurriedly tried to get up to leave, but then... Wait. CG time. We need a nice romantic CG, I'm just saying, for the end. Benke grabbed my hand and pulled me in close. He was forceful and his eyes were serious. I'm not kidding. What I said earlier was true. I've always thought you'd make a great wife. Ever since you nursed me like this before. I envied the man who could be in your heart. And how happy I would be if that man was me. Benkei... I knew it was wrong for a vassal to feel that way about his lord, but... No, no! If anything, I don't deserve you! Of course it's not wrong! Yes, I know that now, but... But I want to promise to you once again. Benkei pulled himself up to his knees and stared at me from the ground. Not only are you my lord, but you're also the most important woman in the world to me. Aww. Please, allow me to serve you with my life for the rest of my life. I stared at him as he bowed his head deeply before me. That's not quite right, is it? Hmm? I gave a wry smile to Benke as he looked up at me. I'm glad you're thinking of me like that, but I'm not your lord anymore, remember? At my words, Benke blushed and quickly turned his face away from mine. Oh, yeah. Huh. I guess it's true what they say about old habits. I mean, you can call me my lord all you want. I'm not gonna complain. He wore an embarrassed smile as he spoke, and he closed his eyes and wrapped his arms around me. Hey. We're no longer lord and vassal. We're bound together in a different way now. Aww. Oh, your role as a samurai is over now, so if it's alright with you, what about living as a normal girl? Or... As my wife. <gasps> oh my god, we got a proposal! What do you think? You and I, husband and wife. It's so cute, I love it. Stop. Benke and I stared deeply at each other. I was so moved by his heartfelt words, all I could do was embrace him tightly. Are you sure about this? From now on, I don't want to hear you talk about serving me as your loyal vassal or anything like that, okay? Yes, yes, that's fine. I've realized that I'd much rather be your partner than your vassal. Are you sure it's alright for you, my love? I'm making a husband out of a former vassal. Of course I don't want to be with anyone but you, Benkei. Okay, that came out wrong. Of course, I don't want to be with anyone but you, Benkei. I want to live with you forever, Benkei. Work together for a quiet, happy life. Working together, sorry. So how about it then? Will you take me as your wife, Benkei? <laughs> This is so cute! Stop! Of course, if you'll have me. Please, be my wife, Spacey. NK! My emotions overflowing, I buried my face deep in his chest. Kiss, goddammit. They say vassals are bound to their lords for three generations. Married couples are bound for two. That's right. You told me that you and I were bound together as a lord-vassal bond from a previous life. When I said that, Ben Kay narrowed his eyes nostalgically. Yes, we are bound by a bond that connects us to our past lives. Oh, and it connects us to our past life, this life, and the next. And we are bound now for two generations by marriage. The bond between us must be very strong. This was the lat. Maybe this was the third generation of us being lord and vassal, and then we started a new generation of, oh, now we're husband and wife to start the two dinner. I'm just saying. No matter how many times we're reborn and change our forms, it seems we're always destined to meet. You say that, but, like, I gotta have to fall in love with other guys. I'm just saying, Benke. That's right. Tied together by fate. After all, fate is what brought us to where we are now. 
If I hadn't been born as Genji's orphan, I would never have met you. If I hadn't been raised as a man, I wouldn't have become a samurai, and you wouldn't have become my vassal. We're here now because all things in our past have brought us to this moment. I always thought I've, I'd lived at the mercy of a cruel fate. In the end, it was all leading me to you. Kind of nice. And because you were with me, we were able to forge our own new destiny together. Spacey. Found together in this world and the next, there's nothing in the whole world that brings me greater joy. Stay with me forever, Benkei. Yes, my love. Never again will I leave your side. Except for right now, I have to go to the bathroom. Just kidding. <laughs> no matter what happens, I'll be there to protect you with my life. No, that's not right. I mean, whatever happens, we'll get through it together. He looked thoughtfully at me before cupping my cheek, uh, cheeks in his warm hands, bringing his face closer to mine. Okay, this is about time for the romantic CG, I'm just saying. W wait! What is it? I, I might end up accidentally consuming your spirit again. You're still recovering from your injuries, and I'd hate to put you in any more pain. And then don't worry. You were in complete control last time at Donora. But... Benkei pulled my body toward his... His large, muscular body enveloped me completely. I mean, it would. He's, like, three times the size of you. The man's a brick. A body that had protected me over and over again, now a little more forceful than before, entangled me in his warmth. I guess we'll just have to practice. The more we kiss, the more you'll be able to control it. Oh! <laughs> Sassy, aren't you? He gently kissed me on the forehead. But, Benkei... My cheeks began to heat up. Then Benkei's lips touched my left cheek, then my right cheek. Then he stared at me. Hello, I'm gonna need a CG, bitches. Let's go. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, well, except for her gaping mouth. Like, she's like, oh, okay, you're making a stupid face, girl. Close your mouth, because he actually looks really good like this. This would be so great, except for she's got such a stupid look on her face. Come on, game. It's still cute, though. When, uh, when his feverish eyes caught mine, my body relaxed. And I couldn't see anything but him. I wondered if Benkei could feel my heart beating wildly. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just... just a little embarrassed. Even though I had the audacity to ask him to be my husband just moments ago. When I think that we're about to become husband and wife, I can't help myself. I get so embarrassed looking at you like this. Sorry. Don't have to apologize. I love it when you blush like that. Can't help but think I want to see more and more of you. Every expression, every emotion. I want to be there for it all. We'll get used to it, little by little. There's no rush. We've got all the time in the world. All the time in the world. And that's right. It's our future. The one we won for each other. In this life, in the next, and the one after that, I'll be with you forever. How sweet. Perhaps as two branches on a tree, or two birds in the sky. Or perhaps I'll be the branch and you the bird. And that's what makes me so happy, that I can tell you these thoughts every day. With my voice, with my touch, and my lips. Now we're gonna kiss. Hey. I love you, Spacey. There we go. Oh! This time he placed his lips on top of mine. Not moaning. Gently, softly. What came from his kiss was not his spirit, but Benkei's deep, unabating love. They never hold that long enough. A lot of blood was spilled, and many hurdles were overcome to reach this point. But finally, we had made it here. I would never forget the trials we had endured, but I was not a prisoner to them. We had suffered and bled, but still, we continued to walk forward to seize our own bright tomorrow. But the two of us could be together. I still don't know what the future will hold, but as long as I was with him, I wasn't afraid of anything. And I love you, Benkei. Benkei smiled happily as we whispered excitedly between kisses. That's what I love the most about him. That warm and gentle smile. This... This is what happiness truly is. Wrapped in the tender sweetness of that moment, I gently closed my eyes. Oh, is that the end? 
I'm just saying, like, okay, like, Benkei's not my favorite character, because, like, I just, but, like, this ride has done so well that I enjoyed the entire fucking ride. You know what I mean? Like, you have other characters, you're like, well, the route's good, but I don't feel the character. So, like, you're like, even though when you take the route apart, you're like, everything that happened in the route was really good, but if you put in a character that you liked, you'd be like, oh my god, the route's amazing. But, like, even though Benkei's not my favorite, and, like, I didn't want to romance him, because I'm like, no... Everything about this route, you're like, no, I was here for it. This is so cute. I can't even, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was so good you forget he's a character that you weren't interested in romancing to begin with. You know what I mean? And sometimes you're like, I'm okay with certain characters. You know what I mean? I don't know. But it's like, I mean, Noritsune, you're like, oh, okay. Amazing. Totally won me over. Shungen isn't, like, there's nothing wrong with Shungen. But again, not my, like, oh, my God, I love Tomomori and our brother. Okay. Right. You have certain characters that you absolutely love that you were like, I cannot wait for this. And whether it's good or bad, you love the route anyway. And then there's characters you're like, yeah, they're in the, I, they, I like the art, so that's cool. I'm okay with it. And like, but Benkei's unfortunately for me, like, don't you dare. No, don't you dare. In that um section of like, yeah, I mean, I love him as a character, but I didn't absolutely want to romance him at all. But the route was so good that you were like, I enjoyed every moment of that. And it was almost like, oh my God, right. We're romancing a character that I wasn't interested in romancing. But like, the route's so good. I'm not, I'm like, so good. It's so weird how the bottom of this is like empty, but like, okay. Oh, is this the one that we can, oh, yes. But how do you change... Maybe A presses if there's, like... No? Okay, so that's just the first time we saw him, I think. Yeah. He looks so angry. Oh, and also, because I forgot to tell you, and I don't remember if we did it for Noritsune, but Noritsune hasn't been in any games that we have played before. Um, He is in Love or Pretend, which is coming out... Is that coming up next year or the end of this year? I'm not sure when that one's coming out, but we are getting that one. But Benkei was actually Canis in Café Enchanté, and he was Demento in Period Cube. Um, and he was Sage in Nekopara Capoe's Paradise. <laughs> Man, Nekopara really needs more parts. Anyway. Um. And that's basically it. But yeah, so he was Canis, which I could absolutely see. Like, just the vibe. You're like, yeah, I could see you being the same character. So anyway, there you go. There's that. Swearing his allegiance to us. Intensity, intense brow. It's so funny because these CGs, he's like so intense and serious, but he's such a fucking himbo. Kind of fun. So, no, but I mean, this route was really good. I did enjoy the whole thing. I did not enjoy that Tomomori died. I really didn't enjoy that Noritsune threw himself into the sea. That makes me sad. This CG is really fucking cute. I like this one. It's pretty. She actually looks really good in, like, all the CGs. Minus the goofy face she was making in that last one. It's like, come on, don't make such a goofy face. Like, you know, a little shocked expression, but the gaping mouth was just... Close it a little bit, you know? But she normally looks really good in all the CGs, so... I'm proud. <laughs> he kind of looks like a puppet here, but, like... <laughs> not a Shiga here to creepy puppet. I did not expect that shit. Oh my god. Oh. These are good. Oh, this one's beautiful, though. And like, just the way he's, like, peering down. Oh, it's so lovely. Yeah. There are great CGs in this game. The sprites are great in the game. All of the frig- Like, everybody's gorgeous. It's like- And the story has been, like, a fucking plus so far. What have we played, like, 30- what is this part 37 or 38 now i don't know um but like yeah it's been so good so good every moment and like you know i feel like I, ben k's in there in the freaking um impy section where you're like i don't want to romance impy i really love him as a bro but like you know but you still the route's so enjoyable and you're such a great character you're like i love you anyway Oh, he looks a little sad there. Slightly blushy. It's really cute. Oh, that's the same one. Okay, so it's just those two different ones. Okay. <laughs> this one was beautiful, even though we're crying and sad. She also has the gapy mouth, but like it kind of works on this one because she's like, ah! like crying and kind of scared and sad and stuff like that. 
This one's beautiful. It looks really shocked, but I love it. This one's my favorite of the two. I just didn't know if there was a third one. I don't ever know when there's ones or the others, but... <sighs> I did a good job. The art's beautiful. I love it. Good route. Good route. Props. Happy. I was worried. I'm not going to lie. And not because, like, oh, Benke wasn't my favorite character. It was more the... Noritsune's route was so motherfucking exceptionally brilliant, amazing. Like, how do you go up from there? I still think Noritsune's route is better. Personally, I enjoyed that one. But, like, I had so much enjoyment out of this that it wasn't, like, it didn't feel like a downgrade. You know what I mean? Like, this one's beautiful. I love this CG so fucking much. It doesn't feel like you... It's not like you do this route and you're like, oh, I mean, yeah, this one's okay, I guess. It's like, this one was so fucking good. Like, Noritsune is still better, in my opinion, but this one was so fucking good that I didn't... You know what I mean? Like, there's... I don't want to say it's not... There's no comparison, because there is, obviously, because that's what I'm doing. But it's not like where you're like, oh, yeah, I just didn't, I did this one I didn't vibe with. You're like, I just, this, everything is so fucking good that I just fully enjoyed everything and like, bravo, game. Okay, we're going back to the beginning. So we're going to stop this one. That's the last one. Um, no, it wasn't this one. Oh, it was this one. Wait, which one was it? No, it was this one. Was it this one? Yeah, this one. I love that. I was like, wait, it was this one, wasn't it? This is very similar to the In the Ocean one. You know what I mean? But this is at the beach, I think. But um, I love this one. It's beautiful. So we will stop here. And yeah, so I enjoyed this greatly. We will do his bad endings and all of that shit in the next part. I uh, Let's see. We've got a tragic love end. He's got two bad ends oh three bad ends four bad ends oh four bad ends there are four bad ends and a tragic love end do we not get a normal ending i thought there was supposed to be a normal ending didn't uh oh well actually the common route bad ends i'll have to check and see if they're the same as noritsune i thought noritsune had a normal ending maybe he didn't but anyway we'll do all of those in the next part so the next part might absolutely be long as well because i feel like with noritsune it was because we had to skip a lot so anyway i will see you guys next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more